So how hard is it to really master Amazon advertising? Well, for the last three years, it has been one of my key targets, my key goals to try and get as good as results as I can from using Amazon ads. I do find that it's getting increasingly challenging to try and get your ACOS or your cost of spend down just because of the sheer number of books that have been loaded onto Amazon and the number and volume of people that are using Amazon to market their books. What I want to do in this video is to share some of my experiences over the last few months and some key tips that I can share with those of you that are maybe beginners, intermediate, even through to advanced. Now I do have uh, that experience which I find that is really helpful in sharing some of my things, well, some of the things that have gone well, some of the things that maybe I could improve on, but I have created a course on Udemy, which is a bestseller, and some of the feedback's been great. So I do hope that some of the tips that I provide you in this video will also help you to get better results. Now, if you haven't been to my channel before, welcome, my name is Romney. And what I wanna do is to go into one of my accounts and show you some of the results that's been happening from that account or from that campaign. So that campaign that I'll show you later on has been effective since April, sorry, August, August 2022. So I'll show you how that campaign is tracking and give you some of those tips that has helped me to reduce my ACOS to where it currently is and what I'd like to, it to get to um, in the next few weeks, I hope. So anyway, let's get on to some of the tips that I want to share with you for beginners through to advance. So let's have a look at what I'll cover during this uh, video. So firstly, my tips for beginners, then my tips for intermediate to advanced users, a look at one of my campaigns uh, and how it's currently tracking, and also my key strategies for 2023. So let's get on to what I'd recommend for beginners. Firstly, beginners, Let's start with the absolute basics, and that begins with finding the right keywords. The keywords will make or break you. If you happen to put in a whole heap of keywords that are not related to your book, then that can destroy your budget. If people are clicking on the keywords and you're uh, spending all of your budget, then you're not gonna have the right keywords functioning at the right time and providing you with the results. So just really focus on the right keywords. And as an example, I usually put a maximum of maybe 50 to 60 keywords in my broad term and uh, exact and phrase keyword campaigns. I just limit it to that much. And then as I optimize, I can add more keywords in. Now, what I'd recommend is commencing with a broad keyword campaign. I wouldn't necessarily worry too much about auto campaigns to begin with. I just tend to find that the auto campaigns, yes, they could potentially bring a few keywords into play that you may not have thought of, but they can also spend a lot of money very, very quickly by targeting audiences that aren't related to your book. It takes a bit of time for the Amazon algorithm on the automatic campaign to find the right audience for your book and to be clicking on the right keywords. So they sometimes seem to run for quite a while and you need to spend a bit of money to get the right keywords from auto campaigns. But as I said, I usually do that through my optimization process. Next, don't go too aggressive with your keyword bidding or your cost per click, CPC, and limit your daily budget. You need to work out what that daily budget is. If it's $5 per day, well, put $5, just don't put 10 because $10 could potentially be spent very, very quickly if your bid or your cost per click is quite high. Just that was 50 cents, then it would be used up um, you know, very, very quickly if you only had five or $10. Start with just one to two books. If you put four to five books on to your campaigns and you're trying to um, manage those campaigns and optimize it can really take a lot of time. So just don't go too hard. Just focus on a couple of books to begin with, even just one, maximum two, and just try and get it into the rhythm of optimizing your campaigns and getting aware of what works and what doesn't work on Amazon. Next one is 
potentially to find an online course, do some extensive research on YouTube, um, even complete some of the free training that Amazon advertising provide on the main platform on their dashboard. So you can also participate in that. So there are a few tips for beginners is just to keep it basic. Don't try and uh, go with aggressive budgeting and clicks to start with until you get a bit of an idea. I, I found out the hard way by spending a lot of money very, very early and you'll get billed for your um, Amazon ads initially every every couple of weeks uh, and then it goes to monthly, but you don't get paid for 60 days for your book, but you get invoiced either fortnightly or monthly for your Amazon ads. So you're sort of out of pocket before your revenue starts coming in for your books. Let's go to the next section for intermediate and advanced. So I would focus on optimization of your campaigns. That's going to be the key. It's, it's going to help you reduce your spend. Uh, it will drive more traffic towards your active keywords that are, that are really the most efficient and the most effective for your campaigns. So the optimization is just such a critical area of your Amazon advertising. And transition also to adding some additional campaigns if you feel comfortable doing so. So in the course, I talk about ASIN and category campaigns. Uh, so that's focusing on ASIN numbers of particular books. And you can target particular books that might be in your niche or category and also the categories of those particular books. So if you've got a uh, children's learn to write book, there might be a category about learning the alphabet uh, or learning to write. So that would be a category that you can do, but just be careful because it can, the, the spend can accelerate fairly quickly again if you are not in a really high niche uh, category and it's not related to your book, you might get clicks and it might cost you a lot. I would become a little bit more aggressive with your cost per click from your book launch. If you know a bit more about Amazon ads, then that can actually help. If you are a bit more aggressive, you can always pull your bidding back down a bit and reduce it if you're finding that spends too much or your ACOS is too high. But I would start a little bit more aggressive rather than the other way around of starting low and going high. I'd start high and go back down low. Uh, that's just what I've found more recently that's working effectively for mine. Uh, you can also increase your daily budget once you become more familiar with Amazon ads and more comfortable and also generating more revenue from your books. And you can also add more books to your portfolio that you're managing, but just ensure it doesn't overwhelm you. I remember at one point I had about 15 books that I had on Amazon ads and it was just getting out of control, um, spending hours all the time trying to uh, optimize my campaigns and nearly every day I was on trying to do that. So just limit the number of books and just focus on key books. So next thing is I want to go onto one of my campaigns and just show you how that one's tracking and a few things that I've learned along the way with that campaign that I launched in August last year. So I've jumped on my dashboard for Amazon advertising and this is one of my campaigns for one of my books. So I've done the, the date range as uh, the lifetime. So that started back in August. Currently, I've spent $1,417 for a return of uh, close to $5,000 in sales with an ACOS of 28.5%. So it's had 634,000 impressions. Now, remember, the ACOS is going to be a bit higher when you look at the date range of the lifetime, just because it, when you first start, the ACOS might blow up a little bit um, as you start to optimize. Now, the ACOS is the orange line, and you can see here uh, it's up to 29.31, but it's, it's still okay. I, if I let's reduce the date range and let's go to more of uh, this year, uh, I was past 30 days last 30 days. So 26.29, so 246 spend, 939 in sales. Let's maybe go to December because that was the peak time of sales. So if we go from December 1 to, let's just go December 30 and we'll go save. 
So that was over the peak time of leading up to Christmas. So you can see how some of the sales kicked off. ACOS at 9%, ACOS 13%. And then things died off right at the end. But let's have a look at the beginning of this year and see how it's going. So 29%. I really would like to reduce that a lot more. So I need to look at what my keywords are and how that's impacting my um my my sales because I tend to find that in January there's a bit more spend for the actual keywords which is strange so if I click on here and let's go to some of the keywords and we go targeting and if I go down here I can actually see the there's if I go to orders you click here so one of these keywords uh, we'll go down the other way do one more one of these keywords has had four sales this is since january four sales at 44.97 acres so it's very high and i've got a 40 cent bid but it's recommending 56 so i'm, I'm going to reduce that even a little bit more just to optimize it a bit more 18 percent and 44 so i could potentially increase that bid but it's going quite well so i probably would leave that this one here a seven percent acos five clicks two orders 35 cents i think that what i'll do is increase that a little bit more because it's very good with its acos so i might do that so that's what optimization is all about just going through and just checking each of these keywords i've got some more there just just um, ensuring that they're at the right rate so this is the suggested bid I don't always I, I take it a little bit of notice of it but not always I've just got to be uh, aligned with what my current results are uh, but that's the current result that I'm looking at for the year to date I have found in previous years that the ACOS does become a bit more expensive for me in January maybe people are just browsing and looking up books and clicking on things but I'll keep monitoring that but overall for the last three or so months with an A cost below 30 I'm, I'm still pretty happy with that so let's go back to a couple of key learnings for 2023 so I meant to say my key strategies for 2023 so these are my strategies so I want to be more aggressive with my bidding from launch and then reduce the bidding as I optimize. And that's what I was mentioning in the last slide for those that are intermediate and advanced. I want to aim for an A cost of 25% or less over the next three months um, on all my campaigns. So I've got a strategy that I want to implement to really try and work on optimizing them to reduce that A cost. And I optimize to the point that I really only need to check my campaigns once per week. So it's not so time consuming. Again, it's a part of your publishing you could outsource, but I I feel if, I feel it's more effective for me to do this role myself uh, because I feel like I've spent so much time doing the Amazon ads that I know my books, I know the keywords, and I think that because it's my money I'm spending on these ads that I'm going to have more of a vested interest to make sure that they work. Uh, and... That's just what I want to do moving forward for 2023. Uh, so that's the key, the key here. So finally, and very, very quickly, if you wanted to check out my Amazon Ads course, you're very welcome to. The information is included in the description. So I hope some of those tips, but also the overview of one of my campaigns has helped you to provide some clarity of what I'm doing, but also some things that you might like to implement into your own campaigns as well. Now, for those of you that have stuck around right to the end, remember that if you did want to accelerate your learning, uh, I do have my course uh, on Udemy. Just check out the links below. And at times there are special offers uh, that I do put. So there might be an offer uh, for that course if you check down in the description. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I look forward to uh, providing more information in my next video. Until then, goodbye.